a day in the life of an application as processed by the Mining Authorisations team. The Mining Authorisations Unit process applications for design registration, item registration and licences. The requirements for different pieces of plant to be registered and for licences to be issued are set out in the Work Health and Safety Laws. Another question might be, what is required to be design registered? Is it everything? And the answer is, no it's not. For example, diesel engine systems are required to be design registered, as are braking systems on plant used in underground transport or breathing apparatus to assist escape, including self-rescuers, are also required to be design registered. Shot firing apparatus, including exploders and circuit testers, are required to be registered, as are detonators, explosive powered tools, conveyor belting, a winding system, other than an exempt hoist, and person riding hoists. We call this phase one. The applicant downloads the form and correctly populates it. A little bit of trivia, the Mining Authorisations Unit process over 120 applications per month and all of these applications, well, 98% of these applications, meet our 28-day KPI. Phase 2. Submission of the application. Previously, applications were submitted to an individual now, we have a centralised system and all our applications must come in through the centralised assessment unit email address. Then starts phase three. The mining authorisations unit will then review your application. Once the mining authorisations unit have reviewed the application and determined that it is complete, it will then be sent for a technical check. Once your application has been signed off, it will be sent back to the Mining Authorisations Unit. They will check that your application is complete and everything that is required is there and then they will send it out to you. In the majority of cases this will be in less than 28 days since your application has been received. 